Hello again, everybody. Um, today, I just thought I'd show you what to expect if this is your first year keeping Lysias Niger. So if you caught your queens in June, July or early August of 2022, and you've just come through your first hibernation with your colony in a test tube, this is what you would expect to see um, just coming out of hibernation. This is one of the test tube colonies that I caught last year. Um, they're doing very well. I haven't seen any worker deaths in any of the test tube colonies. Um, they look healthy. I've fed them all a little bit of sugar today just to start them off. Um, and as you can see, what you should have is a large larvae pile. And quite often, as I've said before, the larvae pile in proportion to the number of workers you've got is, is very often equal. So you're about to double your worker size once all these larvae turn to pupa. But yeah, um, there would have been no eggs and no pupa go through hibernation. You should only have larvae. Um, there are some very light coloured workers um, I can see in here. Um, I don't know whether or not they closed early in the hibernation period and they just don't harden up very well if they're at cold temperatures or, or why they're so light coloured. Um, but anyway, yeah, colony looks great and this is what you should see with your colonies right now as they come out of hibernation. Um, and then finally, a little bit on the end, because everyone loves to talk about the Flavus. This is the uh, two queen Flavus colony. Um, again, doing very well, no problems. Uh, two queens still alive, no deaths, a uh, little pile of larvae. Not as big as you can see. Two queen Flavus is not doing as well as a single queen Lacius Niger, but um, hey ho. Flavus are slower and do grow slower at the start compared to Niger. Um, the only thing that worries me about this is the cotton. The cotton wool is getting terrible. It's really, really black now. I'm going to have to do a tube transfer. And Flavus are particularly difficult to transfer, so it's probably going to involve uh, tipping the tubes up and sort of gently dumping them across, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Just thought I'd bring this to any sort of new keepers if this is your first year. Until next time. Goodbye.